Greetings, I am Lies, and I use she, her, and I am Scandal, and I use they, them, and let's play a game together. Oh my god. My friend was like, I'll do it to the music, and I was like, don't do that. <laughs> you forget that classical doesn't continually to, like, to continue shift. to repeat itself, it continues to evolve and change. Well, I was waiting for the change that I wanted. I just paused the intro a long That's time. I was before. like, what? <sighs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, okay. just stick to the story, and you'll soon return to running Vesuvia once more. Okay, just a small addition. Okay, you literally also got really redundant there, hang on. We will soon return to running Vesuvia once more. Dude, like, we will soon re return to running Vesuvia. We don't need once more. Uh-huh, Like, we it's don't. fine. We it's will true. soon return to running Vesuvia. I want to know where his other glove is. I... I, the thing is, is I hope that's a glove, because that has a deeply white hand. Like, it, a part be... of me wants to go, do you have an artificial hand? Oh. Like, you know, because, like... He and Lucio are uh, prosthetic buddies? Yeah, pros prosthetic buddies. Prosthetic anyway, high ahead. five! Woo! Woo! Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes! yes. All right, okay, so. so I wanted to add one thing really quickly, if you come from the last episode, in reference to Nadia's family not checking on her. So we've been discussing that it seems like she has a very skewed idea of what they're all like versus what they're actually like, such as that, you know, th that they were all like, um, that... that None of them liked her. They were all trying to steal her friends. And one up her all the time. Uh -huh, and that they were all extremely possessive of her and very controlling of her and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, but also that, like, you know, she was the baby and they did nothing but pay attention to her and monitor her constantly. Again, so, very controlling, very manipulative, so always if, ruined all her fun. If all they did was basically keep an eye on her constantly, <laughs> smother her with attention constantly, why would no one check on her? So was it her perception that they were all smothering her with attention constantly, or did they just all completely lose interest as soon as she moved out? It's okay, she's married now. She doesn't need us. She doesn't need us. Now we are all right to you, dear Lydia! Now she has a husband that will do all of the monitoring of her that we aren't doing. Right. Sorry, I just had to put that in there. Go ahead! Yes! Proceed! Ooh, the rain has started. Once anyway. more. Once more. Very redundant. Now, I do believe it is the time the trials start. Not the trial, the trials. Are we running both of theirs? Parallel, mm. that'd be amazing. Valerius gets to his feet and remo uh, leaves the salon first. The other courtiers, how it's so loud, mill around for a moment longer. Just so you know, we're all having, we're having a rainstorm outside right now. We're it's both really... real excited about it because it's been over 100 degrees for a couple of weeks now. And this is real nice. Yeah, it's real. Volgora turns on Volta, hissing at her. <sighs> Nadia is getting in the way of our plans too, Volta! Don't mess this up for us! Hang on a second. We together will all do this thing! Our plans too! So you're saying his plan is not your plan, and you're not connected to what he's talking about? Do you remember? Like, okay, so if we didn't know this from the other route, which, but also I would have questioned it anyway, because it would make sense. Like, even when we saw Valerius countered to ever, all the other ones, I went, oh, you three are unique and, you four, excuse me, are unique are and special. Yeah. And so you're going to have your own thing anyway. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, this is not really a reveal, it just seems obvious. Yeah. Again, I'm like, I just, I'm, it's fine. It's fine. Yes, Volta! These plans which have been in the making for many worm moons, they must not be disturbed. <sighs> disturbed. Oh, I do not have a good feeling about this. No, I do not. Why did you not apologize? Uh, that seems very much... I'm oh, sorry, it's fine. Whatever. You say I'm sorry constantly. You really do! Uh, you really do. I just be like, honey, is your self-esteem okay? He's okay. Here, it's all I have food. brought you a lot of food. Now tell me about your problems. <gasps> ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know, I can literally hear nothing. I've made an error. It's um, I, I tried. I tried. I tried. You know what? If I can get her away after feeding her. What you do is you send her, give her sections. So she doesn't eat you, but like time it to her, but also so she can talk to you. Between them. Between oh, the it's garbling. courses. If you let her yes. know that it's courses, the food is coming. Uh huh. So you just have the here's the soup course. Tell me about this thing. Here's the bread course. Tell me about yeah, this thing. Here's yeah. the salad course. Yep. Yeah, you could do it. You could do it. And, and then you do a girl talk with, you know, um, um, Volta and find out if she's okay. And they file out one by one. Because you can't all go together. You're too edgy for that. I exchange a glance with Portia as I step away from the wall. I'm also, like, deeply entertained because you do realize that, like, burning torches make smell. Okay, well, they didn't say there was any torches there. The art just has it. I know. But I, I think say. they have a version of this where they don't have torches. Well, they were out. There's there's a version where they're out because you have to light them in Julian's route. Oh, that's true. Or they have to become lighted. That one? Become lighted, really. <laughs> they have to become lighted. I mean... <laughs> 
light them? I are become lighted. I are become lighted. Yes. I just step away from the wall. What were they talking about? Our plans. Okay, it's fine. It's I fine. don't care Character about... doesn't know in this case. I'm just... I'm so no, that's fine. It. I'm also just going the... You don't care about they want to get back to running the kingdom. You don't care about we have no evidence at all. Uh -huh. You're not even trying to put the brick back. Yeah, your character doesn't care. It's, it's fine. fine. Looks like my lady is right. Valerius put them all up to it, and they don't even have any real evidence. Come on, let's go to the Colosseum before the trial starts. It's... Wow. Okay. We have no time to do any of this. I nod and follow Portia out of the gardens, back into the bright sunshine of the tunnel, tunnels out of the tunnels. Jesus yes. Christ. I was like, I, I transposed Yes, the words. words are right under each other. Oh, <clears> okay. The tunnel, and out of the tunnels, back into the bright sunshine of the garden. Mm -hmm. I wish I could let Nadia know what we found and give her some hope. Without thinking, I glance back towards the palace. Also, I'm having this thing of, I wish I could give her some hope. As far as I can tell, Nadia in the sky. She has Mufasa. Maybe I'm in the sky with diamonds. I'm just like, she's Mufasa. LSD, LSD, LSD. She is Mufasa. And but I was just like, and give her some hope. Sending you out to do this gave her hope. She believes in you. Yeah, for MC, sure. why do you need to give her some hope? She trusts you. She also finds you competent and suspected you and, and believed you'd be able to do exactly what you did. I, which you did, so yeah, it's okay. okay. And see Nadia standing alone on a balcony, chin in hand. Hi, Nadia! Hey, oh! Lady! I just say, hi, you guys! Hi, you guys! Uh -huh. uh, she doesn't seem to notice me yet. Her eyes are fixed on some distant horizon. Notice you yet? Is there anything going on anywhere? Why would she specifically notice you? You're just she down in the gardens. How high is this balcony? Super high. Decades high. It's okay. Years high. Like I said, this sounds like Castle Gormenghast. Like, this is supposed to be a giant... Thing. Like, it's less castle, more monster at this point. It's a creature. It is. It's a creature. It has become a creature because it's been so heavily enchanted. It's got so much shit going on with it. It might as well be alive at this it's point. It's a person. It's a person. It's it's uh, Behal's Moving Castle. Except that, like, I was thinking find that to be really funny because actually the book version versus the movie is so deeply different. different. So yeah. different. <clears throat> Chandra circles high overhead, keeping watch. Except the thing that cracked me about that is I'm going, you poor owl. You are awake during the day all the time. I feel terrible for I was you. also going to be like, isn't that really bright on your eyeballs, keeping watch? Like, you're really sensitive You are long-sighted in the dark, dear, but on the other hand, magic owl, question mark? Yeah. So not actually nocturnal like other real owls, question yeah. mark? I still am waiting for them to explain, okay, so the, the familiar behavior that they've had through this whole game of going, here's my magical animal companion that everybody seems to have, so it's your magical familiar of some kind. I wish they would explain that. I wish... That is so weird. I wish one it would get explained where you'd get some exposition on it. That'd be really nice. I'd also love them contrasted in reference to normal animals. Yes. What is a normal animal like versus a familiar? Especially, yeah, we've mentioned, yeah, a horse that's got a Barbie mane. Well, and also like Jesus. horses that have an entire personality, understand English, and have their own thoughts and opinions and personalities. Um, because they can really just, they can have basically a conversation with you without speaking back. Sounds like the same level of intelligence as a familiar. Yeah, pretty much. On the other hand, like, the dogs don't seem to have the same level of intelligence. Maybe they're supposed to reflect the intelligence of their owner. <gasps> oh! oh, sorry. <laughs> subtle dig. Okay, oh. maybe not so subtle. <laughs> just, just dead. Keeping watch. I can't help but call out to her. The name tumbling from my lips before I realize what I'm doing. I wouldn't do that. I the just... MC in this case does. Corazon just sort of looks up. I get this idea up. of Corazon just standing next Sarah, to the next MC. Next to this MC that's come. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay. It's like that when you're playing Mario Kart and you can have the shadow that did the run. Yes! And there's a little MC shadow of going, here's what happened last time. And you're like, well, that's fine that that happened last time. But that's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm doing. So, like, you know, you drive differently and try not to make the same mistakes. What would happen if I broke your neck? <laughs> <laughs> Shoves the shadow over. Yeah. The MC calls out, Nadia! <laughs> Nadia blinks! Stretching and looking around! Oh my god. Then her eyes fall on me! Plop, plop. And her whole face lights up! <laughs> because Sorry. she now has eyeballs hanging from her head! Wait! What? No, they've landed on you. They now decorate your outfit. Corazon. Perfect. Her gaze don't fall I should. Doesn't I fall should on do me. that next time. Her eyes fall on me! <laughs> your whole face lights up. Is this an option for a premium scene? <laughs> Oh, I am not doing it! Um, Corazon! I yell from the balcony down into the garden so everyone can hear. I was just thinking about you. Portia! Portia's chopped liver, I don't even mention her. Yeah, she's right next to me! Uh-huh, uh -huh, Portia! 
Hi! Oh, Roger. Hello. My lady, my lady. Very huge crush on Sarah. Hi, you look great. I'm sorry you're in distress. I missed you terribly. I've been so distressed myself. Bye -bye. Are you okay? Corazon! Uh huh. Hey, Portia. Oh, uh -huh. here's to look at me. This is Nadia. Wait a second. Nadia, she didn't see Nadia. So you both walk out of the garden together, and only you are fixated on the idea that Nadia may be present and looking so for her. So you yell so quickly, and she responds so fast. There's that quick callback. That then, then Portia's like, wait, what's going wait, on? Wait, what? Looks at you, and then, yeah. Then sees Nadia. Portia what? had a, a mission of some kind. She was on a mission. She was. All right. I meet you at the Coliseum, and a little... Oh, you're talking to the character. Where yeah. would you do... Uh, I'll meet you at the Colosseum in a little bit then. We need to get immediately to the Colosseum because they're headed there now and the trial starts now. So Nadia would have to be taken there now because she's part of the trial. It's okay. Also going... No, no, this Portia, is... I, I was like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Portia, what are you doing? I'll see you at the Colosseum in a little <coughs> bit. Do you, I was does our, our character literally doesn't know how to apparently get to part of town. Why the fuck would you believe that they know how to get to the Colosseum on their own? Okay, also, also, I'm just like... Nope, you've seen it once. You, you were sad, there. you were distressed, you were overwhelmed, you were disheveled. You are deeply worried for your lady, your milady. And now you're just like, oh, flirting. Well, I'll see you soon then. Good luck. And I'm like, what? Are you now utterly relieved and have complete confidence in everything? Uh, also, your brother's about to go on trial and you're just chill? Fine. How is she not reacting also to the fact that her brother is either in prison or I about mean, to go on trial? She's hiding it real well. Honestly, though, looking back at Julian's route, it's uh -huh. like she wasn't hiding it very well at all. She wasn't, but apparently the MC was just paying more attention to her. Uh, well, I mean, you were involved with Julian, so, you know, I don't, I don't know. I guess. I'm like, it seems like her brother in this case is basically chopped liver to her, and I find that to be hilarious. It's a little wild. You'd think she'd be doubly distressed, and it wouldn't just lighten because you saw Nadia, and she went, oh, flirting's good. She graciously ducks out, leave me us alone, or something like it. Fair enough, fair enough, I'm gonna like, die. I'm gonna I die. can't do it either, because I'm sorry. I, like, character going, I'm not doing this. It's fine. Wait. I'm, I move until I'm standing directly below Nadia's balcony, staring up at her. Romeo, Romeo, where for of the Okay, Juliet, okay. Juliet. I have to put something out there. Fair Juliet. If you're directly below the balcony, then you look up and you see the base of the balcony, and they have to lean over and look down and under it to see you. You should be in front of the balcony. But... Hello, shit. Because I mean, like, have you ever stood like under the edge of a like? No, no, I know what you're talking about. I just, yeah. I know. Yeah, Staring no, at her. I have been in the theater where you're like, yeah, you cannot stand directly underneath the balcony. That's not how sight and that's not how, that's not how uh, like height and physics work. Mm -hmm. did, no. Geometry of the situation. Staring is up at the bottom of the balcony. Oh, she leans so over the edge. Desperately and trying to and fuck And cranes him. down towards me. Corazon? What are you doing? She's at least three stories up. Maybe four. Oh, we've actually got a height now. Nice! Also, our character knows how high that is. Do you know that actually stories are not like... They're usually like an established height, one, and two, they also depended on what area you were living in and how you measured. I say a lot of them wasn't stories, especially with your sort of asymmetrical castle experience with it not being, you know, exactly here's floor one, here's floor two, the, the windows being uneven and such like that. Uh -huh. I don't know that floors would be, or stories would be the proper level of measurement here, mm. but it gives an idea for the reader, but I wish it was something in universe, that'd be fun. Yes. Maybe <clears> four. <throat> Looking for a vine to climb up? Yeah, this is Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> oh my god, this is so weird. There's an idea. It would be really nice to see her. To be able to touch her. Whoa. Just so you know, we're not fucking doing this. Because what? one, Cortisone, Cortisone is like, no, I've got shit to do. What the fuck? This wouldn't have happened. Okay, here's a weird question is, the courtiers, we must leave to go to the trial. Portia, we must leave to go to the trial. You're not taking the person on trial to the trial? You're literally, no one's taking the person on trial to the trial. Everyone there at the trial in the Coliseum, maybe it never shows up. The two of you are just making out in her bedroom for six hours, 12 hours, 15 hours. The guards, uh, did you want them? I'm the sorry, they seemed busy. The trial, uh, <laughs> like, it gets to be nightfall and all the people just kind of wander away. We've murdered Julian, by the way. Portia crying, sobbing, you still aggressively making out. Oh, I'm sorry, was I supposed to care? I don't even know. I'm like, does the other trial happen if Nadia's not there? How does this even work? This is one of those things. So in Julian's route, there was this, and I almost feel bad contrasting this one to Julian's route all the time. It's the only other point of data I have for the game. Uh -huh. But just going, there was this thing that we continually mentioned of going, it seems like a lot of the premium scenes happen in direct opposition to the plot. 
Yes. So your plot often is driven by time constraints and by urgency and by a, a linear um, chain of events that are happening immediately and or again are very time sensitive. And then it's like, would you like to take an interlude where the clock stops to do something else? But it doesn't say the clock stops. And it's really weird. Now, I like that these are more driven by supposedly your MC being interested in things or Nadia being interested in things, and they're more direct. They're not just Julian going, hey, let's avoid our problems over there, which yeah. was a lot of it. It was just him going, oh, look, an obvious distraction. Let's engage. And you're like, we're going to die. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, but I, I could just see him, the monster rushing towards you and being like, you know what? You should make out in that tree right now. Monster continues rushing towards you for 30 minutes while the scene happens, and then you get down and get in trouble, and then the monster finally crashes into the tree, and you're like, shit, we were making out while it was running towards us. Oh it. no! Was that going? Uh, shock, surprise, it happened. Uh, yeah. Surprise, Chico, Pikachu face, both huh? of you. Huh? All right, so it's not too high. It's one, Corazon is not necessarily the strongest climber. Two, two. the other MCs have never been strong or athletic. No! Like, that's that's not why I was I, still like, mad about that dance scene. Like, screw that noise. I was still angry about that. I was just like, climbing a thing is not necessarily easy, especially since there isn't actually a vine, as far as I know. At any rate, though, we're going to have to, like, so, so we're not choosing this. I don't like, care. This is not happening anyway. Again, Corazon going, I'm busy. I would never called out to Nadia in this capacity at all. You're about to be taken to trial and should be being taken right now. Right now, because they the were The guards leaving. would be walking in to escort you out while I'm still climbing. Yes, this is so, ridiculous. Yeah. And two, Corazon also has pr troubles with, like, hip slash foot. Yes. Like, I can't, again, I still haven't exactly decided on what it is. I haven't spent a lot of time looking at it, but I'm it like... It doesn't really matter. There's a lot of walking they've had to do already today. No. Uh -huh. We're going to do even more walking and even more standing up. Fuck that noise. This is usually why they are a tailor. So what you have to know... Because they can sit down more. What you need to know is that people with disabilities can't just put them down because something sounds romantic or cute or fun. Yeah, I know. And if they still have a big day ahead of them, you still have to budget your energy to do that. And, you know, anyone can be like, nope, forget it. I will just suffer horribly later and do this. But, like, in this case, it's like... I don't know what the possible punishment for murder is here. We assume Corazon knows the idea of the law. And if, they, if people went, ooh, public hanging, if it's a possibility that Nadia could be hung at to, by the neck until dead, yeah, I don't think it would be like, let's climb up and see her for smooshy times. I'd love to touch her. This is also, again, the only reason I feel like in part you'd want to do some of this is because you're going, no, but like... I can fix it. I have this deep romantic. I can save you. I can. And also, like, you had all this build up and this pressure beforehand going, everything is ruined. What if I never see her again? This would be so sad. And okay. I'm like, no. Okay, I just had a great idea. And Corazon that... doesn't care. Corazon is like, I want to see you all fucking try. Uh huh. I want to see Nadia destroy you while you put her on trial. And I will help her do it. Yes. I. Okay, so, okay, so I have something really funny right yes, now. Yes, go ahead. Okay. I was watching your face light up and turn into a thousand stars and hearts. Okay, so you know. So... <laughs> <laughs> so you know that thing where um, it was like, hey, Nadia, let's run away together, right? Yeah. But instead of that, you just go, an absolute boss move. You're like, Nadia, climb down to me. We'll walk to the trial together or we'll ride the carriage together. So she escorts herself with her hired magician to her own trial. How girl boss would that be? Like, no guards escort her. They don't even have her. Okay, that She was... shows up in style and gets out of her own carriage My her brain trial. immediately screams about, like, trial process and goes, you couldn't get away with that, which mm -hmm. is fair. Uh, but, too, like, visually, if you're already going to go, a bunch of this stuff doesn't matter anyway, and you're going to talk yourself into circles, It'd why not have her just come down and be like, I'll go with you? Oh, you we'll know? go together. That would be amazing. So, anyway, I guess it's too high, because fuck the other option. It's too high. That's all right, Corazon. I understand how distance works. Thanks. <laughs> not, that's all right, Corazon. You know, I, I, I just, or not the, I, I just like, there's no vine anyway, or I love seeing you. It's the, <clears throat> I guess it's okay that you won't go to the effort to climb up for me. Just seeing your face has put me at ease. Ah, uh, yes. Tell me. Did you find anything helpful? I scream across the grounds from three or four stories up. Yet? I hope that they have good, like, acoustics. That's the only thing I can think of why this even works. Mm -hmm. Because I'm like, three or four stories is really high. It's really like, high. That's And also, again, if you don't have very good acoustics, that's hard as fuck to hear. It can be. Well, she has, she has that royal voice she projects. She's done a lot of announcing in her life, I guess. I she did. had voice lessons with all of her other many things. I did. 
Vora can elaborate to noise sounds from somewhere behind Nadia that I could somehow fucking hear. Okay, do you not know that that's not how sound works? I could literally be in one part of the house talking to my friend and I can hear my friend, but my friend cannot hear me because of the way that sound works. And wraps around corners. Okay, okay, but like, can you imagine? Nadia standing there on the balcony, hollering down at you. The guards blow up the door to her room to walk in because she's angry at his barricade. Little boss, yes. And so you just hear the explosion behind her, this rumbling this. And she's like, uh, door goes flying over the She's so <laughs> over the edge. Here. I guess goes blasting Ooh. through one of her beautiful windows. Uh huh. And she just like adjusts her hair slightly and looks disappointed. Huh. <sighs> All right. I don't know. Somewhere behind Nadia. She stiffens, glancing behind her. Can you also imagine the something explodes action style behind you and you just kind of stiffen irritatedly? That'd be a, such a boss move. I wanted uh -huh. to be a girl boss. Ah, it seems my guard escort is here. Yeah, see, you wouldn't have had time to climb up the vine anyway. You'd have been like a third of the way up with your athletic skill, and there wasn't a vine anyway, so up the architecture of the building, assumed. <laughs> and... She would have, and the guards would have come to take her I away. I love this concept that, like, all the time in stories, people just assume that every human being in there could just climb things. Architecture? Yes. Uh-huh. I'm like, motherfucker! I couldn't even get up the rope in gym class but, and, okay. like, and when I was way more athletic than I am now. Like, As fuck it, that noise. And aside from that, aside from that, like, grip strength and hand strength is different than doing uh -huh. pull-ups, so grabbing into architecture and onto ledges is very, very different than even climbing up a rope. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, this is... I The reason the whole, you know, <clears throat> building, climbing, city, running, parkour scene is so impressive and people are excited about it is because it's really hard to freaking climb buildings, to just scale and face buildings. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of practice, a lot of time, and a lot of building um, strength. Uh, on the other hand, blacksmiths have unusually strong grips. They'd be amazing at building climbing. Maybe. Just conceptually with yeah. the, the hand strength thing, because that's a lot of what's required. Yeah. I was just entertained. I think it. that's one of the reasons why a lot of people are like, I just want a supernatural character so I don't have to think about them going up things, scaling things. So I don't have to think about the fact that they had to train their hands to do that. Uh-huh, because you, you imagine the amount of time you'd be like, God, I have to think about this person having to actively be like, okay, I have to work every day. I'm going to pull things. I'm going to pick things up. I'm going to do things. They'd have to do so much more work rather than, I'm a vampire. I can pick up a house. Yes. You know, basically. <laughs> <laughs> what an example. I just love it. Vampires, my, in my um dictionary, are things they can easily pick up a house. I mean, sometimes, <laughs> I swear to God, that's what they can do. Like, I'm going to just bend this thing. No, I know. I just I was just uh -huh. thinking about it like someone's, you know, just in their, their bestiary. Uh-huh. The, the, best the bestiary. The bestiary. Ah. Uh, it seems my guard escort is here. Because I'm not riding with you of my own accord. Damn. I'll see you at the Colosseum. I say in distress. She blows a kiss towards me and then leaves the balcony, disappearing back into her room. Guards come I in. catch it and I look at it and I can't decide what to do with it, so I stick it in the tarot deck. <laughs> That's great. Okay, Nadia, yelling three or, or four stories down off a balcony. God is so the guards walk in. It seems the guards are here! Can you imagine them hearing I mean, that? That's the thing that I again I'm like, she has to call down specifically, and then you can just hear her going, oh darn. Seems my guards are here. Again, she, she has, has to yell, yell She has to yell! She... I'm like... <laughs> can you imagine being with those Drama guards? queen! And she hollers over the ledge. Oh, oh my, my guards are here, you know? And you're just like, wait, wait, what? Back into her room. High above my head, Chandra swoops and cries out, flying towards the Colosseum. A gong sounds out from somewhere in town, carrying clear in the air through buildings, people, marketplaces, I, I the reason structures. The reason it carries clear for you is because you're at the top of a hill. Because you're at the castle. Yeah, but the thing is, is that there's a lot of stuff up there. But it also, says, brings know, out from somewhere in town. Is not a, true. Like, uh, again, acoustics. Oh, oh, okay, but think Maybe of like, huge. like a gong tower, like a bell tower. <coughs> the reason they're elevated is so the sound can carry. Because otherwise it gets, bless you. Bless you. I sneeze into Absorbed the into buildings and absorbed, you know, into the architecture and stuff like that. Into yeah. the, the muffling things. So instead of a bell tower, which some people call the the gong of a bell. Maybe it is a bell tower. Yeah. And they're just calling it a gong sound. And you, someone just rings the bell. Yeah. And so it's just elevated above everything, so that's why. But also, like, from somewhere in town, I feel like if it was a big fixture, you would just know what it is. Oh, so maybe yeah. it's something new that you don't know about. Again, I'm like, did... The things that Astrid decides to tell us about... It varies wildly. Depending on what we need. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Carrying, Carrying clear in the air. It's time. Adrenaline pumping in my ears. No. 
I head towards the Colosseum. I mean, I am getting excited, but not pumping. This is the slow, like. Yes. All right, I'm. 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 Okay, but it's time. I'm nowhere near the Colosseum, and neither is Nadia. They announced the trial starting. It's just a bunch of character witnesses. And also first. now your your freaking MC has to walk. And now in this case, for example, like Corazon is not really going to be the best at running for long prolonged periods of time. Mm -mm, so it's like again, I'm just like. Why? Even if your character was very able-bodied, that's all the way across the city. We've already talked about that it took us fucking eight hours to get to the castle! Uh-huh. Nadia, be the court. Oh. Versus, I'd like, that's, that's actually that's kind of cute. Chapter three. It's Nadia versus the court. Nadia be the court. Nadia be the court. Uh. The Colosseum was in uproar when I reached the canal surrounding it. Ravenous onlookers swarm around the structure. I have to push my way through the crowd just to get close. There's no way I'll be able to find Portia in this mess. But don't worry, she'll find us because I'm taller because than literally have... everybody else here, apparently. Because everybody else has to look, you know, up at you. Uh, because we, um, I was gonna say, because we didn't make a plan. Yep. We didn't talk about our thing at all. Yep. We also didn't travel here in a coach, which assumably we would have access to. We specifically was like, Nadia, I'd like permission to leave the castle. And she's like, you have access to do whatever you want. Uh -huh. So I would just take a coach. Yeah, we just do that. Why not just take a carriage? And then your carriage just mows through the crowd. They have to move out of the way or get trampled by the horses because that's very royalty. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you're in. And it's really, really easy for um, also for uh, Portia to see you because you're in a fucking carriage. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Portia and this mess. I managed to make it to a good viewing spot under one of the arches. Additionally... We need a plan! Why wouldn't you also make a plan for this part instead of her going, again, like she lost all of her gravity at all, just, oh no, you go flirt with the Countess. Instead of going, okay, so I'll meet you at the Coliseum, let's meet in this at this area. place. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, I don't understand it either. That's weird, like, like she suddenly just didn't care at <clears> all. <throat> just in time to see Julian addressing the crowd. So they are running two trials today. Yes, we are! Ooh! Woo! All right, go, friend, go, Damn I'm fucking... so excited. There's nothing left to say! You want a blood? I'm here to deliver! Uh, Julian? Julian? What? Hangings don't make you bleed. No! <laughs> Fuck! Is that how that works? Um, it seems I was too late for the first trial. Judging from the crowd's raucous energy, this must be his final speech. Question! It's starting! We need to go! Nadia, they're taking me away! It's time to go! They're taking you away to be held while he's on trial? Where? I don't understand this at all. The setup for this is ridiculous. That's fine. Okay, it's fine. I'm just like, he should die. I mean, he's gonna die again. It's, it's fine. fine. William clears his throat, slamming his hands down on the stand for dramatic effect. Because okay. we still need to do the Ace Attorney reference, because that's how that works. Right, right, okay, okay. But, like, imagine everybody, you know, is in a slight AU, right? Uh-huh. So the other MC that we did for the... It's down over there. I was gonna say, it's sick! But isn't, you know, Astra's apprentice. And this one, they just survived the plague and had a slightly different story kind of thing. Right. And it's just, and you encountered each other differently. And Nerd is just like, why are you trying to kill yourself? Ah! Uh, tell me! <laughs> mm-hmm. Dramatic effect. I'm the one you want. I'm! He throws his arms open wide. Cape fluttering out behind him like inky wings that are red on the fucking inside. So, so there's no ink to have. We're looking. Oh, we're standing behind, behind him. him. Behind him. I'm like red wings. I say inky wings fluttering out behind him. We get a good view of his booty. <laughs> a little tiny ass. Yes. Lucio's one and only killer. Your cape is starched to hell. There is no way it there flutters. There is also no fluttering. There is no fluttering. That flutter, thing is sir. gross as hell, sir. You do not That yourself. thing is is a structure made out of cardboard cut out. If we made a little, like... I feel like vomiting. There's a strange smell coming off of him. Okay, but also, like, imagine. You make a little pipe cleaner Julian, right? Yes. And you just use a toilet paper tube to make the stiff cape because it would work perfectly. <laughs> it would. The crowd is in an uproar now, and Julian has to shout to be heard above the din. I submit myself to the full judgment of the cart! I hear a throat clear. Whoa. And a figure stands like they're screaming going on. The crowd is in a, a, a fury. They're having a time. Quarter zone, above everybody else. Here's this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're just like, <clears throat> really loudly. <laughs> and a figure stands from the box set in the stands. Wait, that was him gluing his Of course it was! It was last time! But over the entirety of the crowd. Also, where's a good spot to see from? Can you also hear well from there? I'm standing We're literally it. under the arches, down on the bottom. I highly doubt that noise. How would we hear? It's okay. He was just... One um, of the greatest feats of, of the, the Coliseum, as far as I understand, was truly the was fact acoustics. that... Was the acoustics. Move to the down, perfect acoustical spot. 
<clears throat> it just booms over everyone. Uh-huh. Like, it's really cool. Actually, even if you go into, um, what are they? They're, they're, they're uh, places for, for worship in Muslim countries. Mm -hmm. um, uh, mosques. Mosques. You go into some specific mosques. They're so specifically fucking designed. Just the coolest thing. I've seen people where they're like, here's me standing over here talking. You can't really hear them very well. And they move over into a square that's been specifically designated and they sound clear as day. It's astounding. To, to all corners of the room. The way uh -huh. sound because sound is waves and you can direct them and it's so cool. And it was so neat. I'm like, people are fucking brilliant they are amazing and everybody's like oh no, 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 modern day people are so much smarter and i'm like you guys okay i've just had so much fun with people with acoustics though so since covid i've run into so many like videos and tiktoks of people doing choir stuff where everyone's social distance mm -hmm. and also in you know an outdoor location mm -hmm. and so they'll be like under a a bridge they'll be like you know in a, ca uh, a car you know a, a um, parking garage right, in a car and they just sound there. amazing because they don't have access to the building <coughs> that they normally sing in because they're shut down for covid mm -hmm. it was so cool anyway oh my oh my we're just startling and delightful turn of events but we're going to have to see what kind of eternity is in the next one. <laughs> oh, princess. Oh, he is a lovely worm. He now uh -huh. has a tiny worm named princess. I yeah. don't care. We don't care. It's just <sighs> going to happen. So thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos. It has been super great to have your support. Please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi and our Patreon. We love being saved from the algorithm, so doing all those things is deeply helpful. Yep. Um, and also, please feel free to check us out on Twitch. We do stream live at least two or two, three times a week. Yes. And sometimes more. So um, we'd love to see you at one of those times. It would be great to hear you then. Yes. And I, I have been Scandal. And I, I have been Lies. And, and it was great, great playing with, with you. you. Bye! Bye.